Hey folks, you're welcome to the review of a Christian short movie titled After One. This particular review represents a pivotal moment in the programs of this channel. Permit me to explain why. I came across the trailer of After One some weeks ago and I was captured by its catchy title, the poster picture, the theme I perceived it would consider, the tone, and the casting of Jane, played by Olakumi Salako, who looked perfectly the part of a nursing mother. Having seen her feature in movies like The Boomerang in 2018 and Prime Suspect in 2020, a selection in After One to me pointed to excellence and great attention to detail. Right then in my heart, I was inspired to begin a new review show dedicated to short films, many of which I have seen well made loaded in content and still have room for improvement. Therefore, YNWAP Reviews presents to you Shots, a new short film review show which will come up on every other Monday. So please subscribe to this channel, tell other gospel movie lovers about it and ensure you click the notification bell so that you get alerted whenever there is a new video. Thank you so much. After One was released on YouTube on March 26, 2021, from the partnership between Kingsman Media and Precious Crown Production. The movie was written by Lydia Emanuel, directed by Ayobola Eniola, and produced by Ololade and Pinipulu Sipi Okedari. This short film addresses the challenges that new mothers face after childbirth, a situation vividly portrayed through earnest cinematography that details every aspect of the matter. Another strength of After One is the excellent performance of its cast. The protagonist, Jane, was played by Olakumi Salako, like I said earlier, and she has always seemed to me like a natural. She always conveys her emotions convincingly to the audience. You would care about her Jane character. We feel what she feels, we can relate to it, or at least we want to try to imagine what she's going through. Every other person played their roles with ease and propriety. Fiyifulu Sipi Okedari as John, Shade Aino as Jane's mother-in-law, Adeda Mola Salako and Shinwa Dejumobi as John's friends, and Jane's friends all represented different personalities. They all did very well. And then they all featured in my favorite scene, that naming ceremony scene, that had good background music and nice steady cam shots. After One may be a short film, but it treats a matter that I find it hard to recollect any other Christian movie has tackled. It chronicles the struggles of modern-day new mothers with their identity, family customs, and social constructs. It is a corrective film that urges men to move beyond societal stereotypes and wrong mindsets that limits them from loving their wives as Christ loves the church. After One is also well-structured in terms of its mood and tone distribution, no better signified than by the appropriate background tunes used to convey the emotions that the director wanted in each scene. Ahead of subsequent productions, I would like the producing ministries to look into achieving consistency in the subtitle format, the subtitling itself, the camera focus and color grading. Also, the dressing of the characters should be given more attention to and be better coordinated. All in all, After One is a wonderful Christian movie and in practical terms for a new father, God is saying, do not regard the feeding of your baby as your wife's concern alone. Chip in. The baby's welfare is not the mother's business alone. Never leave it all for her to do. Alright, we've come to the end of the review of After One. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? What's your take home from After One? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The link to the movie is in the description. See the next video. Stay blessed.